reaction coming off the injury and everything? Everything good? You're yeah, I'm, I'm doing really well. I've been blessed to be in the position that I'm in with the, the best staff, I think, in the country, bar none. Jeff Allen and Jeremy and these guys are, Coach Saban has us the best staff in the country, and the best care. And I mean, this is, if I'm going to tear my ACL somewhere, I'm, I'm glad I did it here. Right. So. Is it a deal where you've taken the hit or made the cut where your mind is at ease now? Yeah, I had a, I had one catch last scrimmage, caught the ball, Savion came right on the leg, I hit it, I was like, I'm alive. It's all right. So it's just, I did, it was definitely a confidence thing. That, that's always good. Um, how's it going with the offense and the flow with Mike Lotsey and everything? Is I'm sure it's a learning thing, but it's still the Alabama offense that everybody talks about. Definitely, and I think that's something we try and battle through in camp is kind of find that identity as an offense. And what Coach Loxley kind of wants that to look like, and that's something we're still kind of attacking every day. As we talk about like, what's our identity on offense, what's our identity on offense, and kind of follow Coach Loxley and see how how he wants that to look. So it's something that's definitely like, I think molding together daily through camp. How big is it to go through a scrimmage where you're able to kind of get a feel for Coach Loxley calling plays, and vice versa, he's able to get a feel for you guys and what it's like to call plays in a situation? Uh, I mean, I think that's a big thing. We've been around him here for a little bit as he was the receiver coach last year, and a lot of these guys know him. But it was definitely good to get out there and kind of. Be out there with him as really an OC in your first like, scrimmage setting was for me at least. What have you? Uh, can you talk about um, Irv, Irv Smith and Hell Hintage and what type of tight ends those are and kind of the camaraderie <laughs> that you have? I'd love to talk about those guys. I mean, um, like I, I truly believe we, those are two like great players and fantastic dudes as well. I mean, they're, they've both grown so much since, just since I've been here as players and as, as human beings. And I'm, I think we got one of the best rooms in the country. I really do as far as guys and. Playing ability is. I love those guys. What have you seen from some of the younger guys, uh, Tennyson and uh, the new addition? Kedrick, Major, and Michael Parker. Those yeah. those three younger guys have all grown tremendous. I think over camp, especially Michael, as he started to take these these new steps. But Major and Kedrick are both gonna be ready to play. Those guys are both kind of grown into their role, and they kind of know what and how they need to get things done now. And they're they're definitely starting to step up, and you can see that. Kind of got a make, couple more. That's gonna make you better, doesn't it? When definitely. Yeah, and it's that's it's awesome to see in a tight end room. You have so many good players. Competition breeds excellence. I think the more guys we have that can do the uh, the job well, then the, the better the job will get done. So. And you, and you still know last one. If you perform well, you're gonna play because I mean they played as many tight ends as running backs. Exactly. That's kind of a short answer. Everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sorry. <laughs> no, I, mean, I mean, what more do you want from that? Give me one more. Yeah, give me one more. Uh, can you can you go off <laughs> you a little bit more on uh, Kendrick James? I know. Uh, I mean, he's just. He looks phenomenal, you know, year over year, and I mean, just kind of elaborate a little bit more on him. Yeah, and Kedrick's one of those guys that like walks into a room, and you're like, what in the world? And he's a physical freak, one of the freakiest guys on the team. I mean, I've seen the guy throw a football just like 65 yards, just like standing still and throw the ball. Like, what in the world? And you'll see him windmill, and he's he's an absolute freak. And when he when he gets his mind right, and knows what he wants to do. I mean, that guy can be unstoppable. So he has tremendous potential. I've seen him throw the football. What have you seen from uh, Coach Carl Scott since he's uh, been here at Alabama? What type of coach is he? Uh, he's a really good coach. I like him a lot. You know, he uh, he not going he going to coach you before he yell at you. But um, I like him. You know, he's a real teacher. He's going to teach you. He learned it just like us. So, you know, he he's one of those coaches. You go in his office, go look at film, uh, go over the plays. So I like him a lot. I really like his style of how he coaches. Uh, what have you seen some of the from some of the younger guys so far? Uh, Patrick Sertain, Jalen Owen Davis, Josh mm-hmm. Job, a lot of new cats out there. What's uh, what have you seen from those guys? Uh, all of them, they're really good. Um, they're real hard workers. You know, don't say too much. Just get to work. Really, um, they starting to grow as players. Uh, they're starting to learn. So it's really got like that group a lot. Where the heck you playing at right now? You played some corner. You can mm-hmm. play some safety too. Do you have they have you working around all all over the place? Uh. Per se, um, I'm at corner. Uh, I go to star sometimes too. Uh, I'm trying to learn star, you know, learn more multiple positions because you never know what can happen. You gotta move people around, stuff like that. So you just always want to be prepared. And always want to be ready. So yeah, I'm learning star. Uh, hopefully, I can learn other positions too. Is that something that when you guys don't have a lot of depth coming back, that you have to have multiple guys learning multiple positions and kind of shuffle the deck in case you know you gotta rotate guys out? Um, not only that, but It'll help you in your position. Uh, if you know what the next man doing, you know it can help you with your technique and things. You know you'll know. Oh, he's gonna help me inside, and I'm gonna be outside. So it'll help you more. It'll help you grow as a player in your position. You know one position, you can learn another position. It just, you know, it, it can 
make you versatile in many positions. Can you kind of see the, I guess, the chemistry with all you guys and all the new mm -hmm. faces kind of starting to come together? Are you guys getting a real sense of each other? Yeah, we're starting to uh, get a real sense. You know, that's what happens when you you with each other every day. You know, we had all the older guys. You know, we had them. They had their, their group, their motives. So we just growing together. Uh, we starting to communicate more. Like, it, it's starting to look really good. So going through what you went through last year, starting mm -hmm. and then Levi coming in, mm -hmm. how did that help you prepare last year, get better, and get ready for this year? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just, you know, uh, things happen. You know, um, you got to look at it as, Maybe that was a blessing to me. You know, that'll help me, push me to go harder. That'll push me to know my place, you know, and I wouldn't want that to happen to somebody else. So I can take that on, like, hey, listen, you know, you got to know your place. You got to do this, that, and the third, or you, you're not going to be in a position, you know. So it helped me a lot, and, you know, I feel like I've grown as a player, and I, I, I wouldn't make that much, that many mistakes no more. Did you lean on anybody during that time? I'm sure was there dark, good days, bad days, right. you know, thinking about it? Or? Yeah, I, I lean on my team, you know, uh, just guys in our group. You know, they always come up to me, you know, I always ask, bro, uh, what I got to do on this? Like, what should I do better, you know? Um, just keep asking questions and keep learning from them. That's all. And just keep taking information and information and just build it up and you just, right, and keep going. Louisville receivers last week uh, had a little bit of trash talk. Did you guys hear about that or did you kind of tune it out? Or um, I, I guess I, I don't really know what was said, but you know, Louisville game is I don't know how long away, so we're not really worried about that right now. We just focus, we in camp, you know, we just worry about our guys. In the dog days of, of the camp, just uh, where do you think the defensive line is right now, and uh, how do you kind of push yourself through these uh, these times where you're the first game's just far enough away, and you're kind of in the middle of it all? Um, as a unit, I think uh, we have improved on a lot. I feel like we have we still have a little more improvement attacking the ball. Um, getting at the quarterback, creating that line of scrimmage. I feel like we didn't got better. We improved a lot. Um, We're just still working as a unit right now. How much confidence do you have in Quentin Williams, and what have you seen from him um, year over year now taking the place of Deron Payne? I feel I got a lot of confidence in Quentin. I mean, he, that's a guy that that's that can do anything. Like anything you want him to do, he'll do it. He's a uh, just a freak. He's just a natural freak. We've heard from other players that they think the offensive and defensive lines are really starting to, to show out and be a strength of this team. How much does it benefit you guys going up against an experienced offensive line like you have to kind of, you know, you're not going up against a guy who's never started. It's a guy who's been a multiple year starter. Um, it's great. They give us great preparation as, as getting ready to take on Louisville and getting ready for them. So uh, um, our offense, I mean, they, they're great. They, they work hard. They attack. We all we all help each other by getting better every day. Every day we go out. What have you seen from um, from Christian Barmore since he's since he's jumped aboard? Christian Barmore, man, that guy, he he's gonna be something great. He's gonna be something great, man. Barmore, he 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 got a great work ethic. Um, he he know how to he know how to work his arm. He good. He, I mean, he came in with good, great technique. The guy, he's young, he's great, he's going to be good, he's going to he gonna have a great role on this team. Is it different for you this season? You're kind of the guy everyone's looking to now. You know, you had you know, Duran the year before, Allen the year before that. You know, you're kind of the guy who's in the forefront of that defensive line now. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't actually, I wouldn't say that. I feel like I am one of the leaders that the younger guys have to look up to. I feel like I have a, I got to be a great a role model to them. I got to show them the way of keeping the tradition going that that John Allen, Deron Payne, and far far back how they set. So I feel like I got to do that. That's my part for them to, to look at me as a role model and do what I do. A couple more. Is that odd to think of yourself as as a role model? Um. Yeah, I mean, in a good way. It can. I mean, I mean, it's it's good because you got somebody watching, you got somebody looking up to you, and you know you got to do the right things at all times because they they watching your footsteps, they watching to see what you do and how you handle stuff. Anything else? Um, just if 
if I could, on uh, Isaiah Bugs. I mean, it looks like year over year, I mean, he's just hitting the bags harder. A lot more athleticism from him. I mean, can you talk a little bit about what you see from Bugs? I mean, Isaiah, he he get he got since he came in his junior year here, he didn't he didn't he didn't improve a lot. Um, he just. He's 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 another freak on our line. Uh, he's just good. We do it. And that's attack. He attack the ball. He come off the ball fast. He's he's a good. He's a great guy. He's he's good. Okay. Thanks, man. All right. Thank you, Rick. Thank you, Rick. Guys, that's that's it.